hello welcome back and we are going to be making the next part so to start we'll click on the top plane and sketch and draw two circles one and second one and add a dimension to it this is going to be 0.32 and the second circle is going to be 0 0.07 and we want to extrude it by the mid plane I extrude stuff by the mid plane a lot I don't know why um, well I guess for this project it makes it makes more sense to do it that way and I'm going to um, the extrude by the mid plane point point one four two and click OK and now select that top plane again and click sketch on that top plane number two and now what we want to do is draw a draw a first of all convert entity select that edge and click convert entity which is right here and now draw a line coming down make that line a construction line and just draw a circle somewhere like that going down and draw not a circle I'm sorry a line two lines coming down click those two lines and click the center the center line and make them symmetric to each other in order to get the symmetry option the symmetric you have to have a center line and click two solid line and it will give you that option draw a circle somewhere at the bottom over here make this line tangent to that circle and it should be tangent on this end but I'll do it again just to make sure and trim that circle trim it over here and you want to oh we have the tangent over here too which is good so now we want to trim it too so you get something like that so now we just want to add our dimension to this and that will be seven and we can dimension this line from the origin point to that center point so that so what we need to do now something I didn't do is this needs to be on that origin point so the origin point of your circle needs to be on the end point of this line so now if we add a dimension to that that should be 0.65 so everything is fully dimensioned so what we need to do is trim this edge off and trim that edge off so we have something like that so you should have something like this and now we are going to extrude it but now we're going to select up to surface and we are going to pick this face and click OK and good so now another thing we need to do is um, select this bottom face and sketch and number two and draw a center rectangle up here make this center point and center point of that rectangle and the origin point vertical to each other and add a line a dimension the dimension is going to be 0 0.058 and let me change that I need to change this before and so so that way you see the dimension as it is so 0 0.058 and this is going to be 0 0.1 and this is going to be 0 0.08 I believe so yeah so 0 0.1 0 0.08 0 0.058 and now we are just going to extrude that we're going to extrude it down by 0 0.04 and click OK and the next thing we're going to do is click on this face and draw a sketch and number 2 select this edge and convert entity and once you do that just draw a line on the end point something like that and make sure it comes back to that end point so everything is fully 
these lines are fully constrained the only thing we need to do is add a dimension to this make that 0.3 and you should have a fully defined sketch and you want to extrude that up 0 0.05 and click OK so this is kind of like the pin on the wrench that you use to turn it on and off you can use this dimension but you can pretty much make it whatever you want you can make your own design according to this dimension so uh, anyway so the next thing we want to do is add a fillet it's going to be 0 0.08 we're going to add it to this edge and that edge and click OK and the next thing we need to do is add a fillet to everything our fillet is going to be 0 0.01 and we want to add it to this face um, let me try it now that won't work so let me try this face that edge I mean this bottom edge um, down here and this edge so we want to add it to that edge and we'll come back and do the net the last one click OK and we're going to add the last fillet to I think the only one we're missing is this edge so come back to the fillet again and add that fillet and click OK and we are done with this part and please make sure you save it as a, um, I'm not sure what this is called but just that's why I haven't been giving you the name to save it at because I'm not sure what the name is but it's kind of like the pin for the on and off button so just save it as something and thank you I will see you in the next tutorial bye